to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game one of the final match to decide who advances the round of eight and who is eliminated from BSL Season 13. This is Hasu League Group B, Advil, starting at the 9 o'clock location as the Brown Terran. 3 o'clock location, we have Rancor starting as the Yellow Zerg. Advantage. So I, I should also mention there was the walkover in between. If you missed it, if you're like, hey, what are the losers bracket matches? <clears throat> Need to get a little bit of water here. Rainy weather where I'm at, which is causing a little bit more. Uh, well, one, it gives me the nice deeper voice. Because you got that little bit of stuff in the air. But anyway, uh, need to keep my throat clear, though, <clears throat> to make sure I can continue with that commentary. Um, Crane offering a walkover in the loser's bracket, which advancing Advil here to the final. Between Rancor and Advil, from what I've seen thus far, I'm not sure that these two stack up well against, or I should say, I don't know that Advil stacks up well against Rancor. First of all, Rancor easily winning in the opening rounds. And Rancor, it, it feels like Advil's having trouble adjusting to Rancor's early aggressive play style. Now, keep in mind, he's won that initial set of matches. And he knows he's going up against, he knows what he's in for this time. Is he going to adjust his play style accordingly? Oftentimes they say losing is the best way to learn. Not going for a front door seal once again. Building that barracks on that corner. It looks like we are seeing an Overlord opening. Looks like with a 12 hatch from Rancor. I am wondering if we are going to see a gas grab and mech play from Advil. I kind of actually like mech play at this level. I know that some people lament that at a certain stage, Zerg just know how to handle Terran mech. But honestly, I've seen we saw Terror using mech to really, really, really give Crossy a hard time and pick some games off of him. Spawning pool, morphing in, gas being grabbed at about the 216 mark. SCV going to be able to scout all of it. Second supply depot being built on the front door. So there looks like this, currently this is looking like it's going to be standard play. First Marine being produced. Still don't like the lack of a uh, front door seal in the midst of this. Spawning pool morphing in. Now the question is, is what is Rancor going to do? Moving up with that drone scout. Marine blockading that front. Second Marine being produced. And it looks like Advil wants to go ahead and try to, I assume, place a bunker, grab that natural expansion. Maybe he wants to go for command center before bunker upon seeing that 12th hatch opener. Two Zerglings are being produced. Command center morphing in. Considering how wide open this natural expansion is, though, I think it's just wise to have bunkers and supply depots and things in this gap. Second base up for Rancor. He is going to go for some form of two-hatch play. He does have four Zerglings initially. Quickly getting that surround on that SCV. It just has a sliver of health left. Five left and getting backed into the corner. Did manage to see the lair morphing, but not getting a lot of additional information. Advil still sitting, still hasn't grabbed gas, grabbing a second barracks. I assume this is going to be two barracks, Academy, Engineering Bay, or Engineering Bay Academy, uh, play from there. This should be sufficient Marines to engage the Zerglings, particularly if they come marching in a single file line, as they currently are. Creek Colony being dropped at natural expansion very early for Rancor. The Zerglings going to try to walk and this is, su yeah, such a wide open natural expansion. Going to try to walk all the way around. One Zergling getting picked off. Rancor thinking better of it. Just testing that front. SCV's moving out. Going to go ahead and build uh, at that natural expansion. Gas now being grabbed. There's the Academy. But in the meantime, I think this is going to be a attempt at a two-hatch Lurker bust. Because we got that Hydro Sten. We have Lurkers morphing. Keep in mind, if you, you can go to the south, we'll see if a drone moves up to go ahead and clear out this back mineral. Because what you can do is, is move up a drone. Looks like Advil maybe already has ideas about this. Looks like it's going to be a drop. Ventral sacks being upgraded. Potentially a drop to this high ledge rather than having the, the mineral field opened. 
Because if you can get up on this high ground behind this mineral only, or even along this location, you can see where you can end up hitting that mineral line. And it's not that far to just dive into this natural expansion. When you get lurkers in the natural expansion, it is bad news for Terran all the way around. But there's also an overlord to the north in position potentially to do just a small drop into the main. Engineering bay being plopped, stim pack being upgraded, no academy being grabbed, a third barracks being added, and the hydralisks starting to march forward. It looks like they're going to go for that northern drop point. The SAV pulled back from that line. It's also possible we're going to see lurkers at multiple locations. Lurker aspect is now finished. Four hydralisks are marching across. We have some medic marines grouping up. And Rancor poking at that front door and now backing off. Now comsatting. Double comsat. He sees the Hydralis then, so he knows there's lurkers out there. Now he needs to worry about, okay, is this hold position lurkers? Or is this lurker drop? And it looks like it is going to be lurker drop from multiple locations. Two-pronged attack with the lurker drop. Stimming forward, dropping additional bunkers, looking for a lurker rush on the front. Oh, poor Advil. But, and he's going to have that turret, but that turret out of position to defend against the lurkers now moving into the north. Two morphing to the south as well. And this also might draw these medic marines back into the base. No turrets, no detection back here, so it's going to have to be comsat. <clears throat> and if the lurkers just move right here, not only can they hit the comsat station and a lot else. <clears throat> Never mind, there's a turret in this back corner. So Rancor dropping the trap, pressing in. Going to get at least an SCV. <clears throat> the drop slow fielding here at the main as well. The Marines flooding back to the corner. They need to be careful how they approach this because two lurkers lined up like this can chew through a lot of Marines. Slow drop in that back corner. One of them already disrupting the SCV line, getting a lot of kills there already. And as you can see, while I wasn't looking, yeah, the Marines just walking in a single file line. Instead of a group, you got to come up as a group. Otherwise, you just get obliterated like this. SCV is getting devastated everywhere. And it looks like this is going to be a quick match. GG. Wonderful two-pronged attack from Rancor. Caught a little bit of it, but just having trouble overall. We'll move on to game two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.